The ASDO system will improve safety and help to improve customer service on our network. It can allow more doors to be available for use, benefiting our passengers when joining or alighting. It's a computer-controlled system that works using the driver's TMS and information received from beacons installed at every platform. The train will only release doors that are accommodated on the platform. The system is designed to reduce the risk of door operating incidents as you will only have to perform a normal door release. When the ASDO system goes live, it will overnight replace the manual SDO that you now carry out. All our D0 trains will only be capable of undertaking ASDO. With the ASDO system, you're not restricted to being in a cab to operate the doors. You'll be expected to be in the passenger saloon, allowing you to continue providing great customer service. Only in extreme circumstances should you work the train from the cab. The ASDO system is already in use with other train operating companies and is proven technology. It's a system that's reliant on our guards carrying out their station's duties as they do today. This program will show you how the system works and covers the types of faults and failures that may occur when the train is in service and how you, working with the driver, should deal with them. It will also examine the differences between the class 4585's ASDO and that on the D0 fleet. Before each journey, you must use the Platform Length Handbook to mark on your schedule card the number of vehicles that should be released at stations with short platforms. Before leaving your booking on point, check for any notices concerning ASDO operation. During the journey, you should check your BlackBerry for any updates. You will be notified if there are any defective beacons. There's information on what you should do in this situation in the Faults and Failures chapter. On approaching a station where the ASDO system will be applied, you must use the public address system to advise passengers which coaches they will need to alight from. If you wish to leave the train at this station, you will need to be in the front eight carriages of this 12 carriage train due to the short platform at this station. Make your way to a suitable saloon door position in part of the train that will be within the platform, ensuring you get there at least 10 seconds before the train stops. At stations where all 12 carriages can be accommodated, release the doors normally, remembering to position yourself near to CCTV monitors where appropriate. If the train you are working terminates at a short platform and is required to restart in the opposite direction, as long as it isn't necessary for the train to draw forward clear of the starting signal, the following procedure should be followed. Release the doors normally and as passengers are alighting, switch off the door panel you are working from and remove the key. You can then move to the most suitable location for dispatching the train. If you close the passenger doors, you will be able to reopen them, as the train will remember the length of the platform. The only occasion when the train will not remember the platform length without moving is if the driver has to reboot the train. All doors have to be closed in order to do this, and once the reboot is complete, the doors will open in default mode. If the driver has rebooted the cab of the unit not accommodated on the platform, then you must only use a local door to allow passengers to board the train. ASDO beacons are placed in the forefoot on the approach to every station. As the antenna on the leading vehicle passes over, the beacon transmits information which allows the TMS to calculate how many doors should be released. Where a platform is bi-directional, 
additional beacons are provided. The system is reliant on the beacon in the track and the TMS system in the driver's cab working together. A robust testing process has been carried out to ensure that the system is reliable and effective. If the doors are closed and then re-released, the train will remember the length of the platform and how many doors should be opened. The system will only reset itself once the train has moved 400 meters or achieved 20 miles per hour. There is no facility to manually reset the system. The train will then need to go over the beacon for the next station before it knows the next platform length. Remember to make checks at stations where the train is not fully accommodated. You must look to the rear of the train to make sure only the expected number of doors are released. When an out-of-course situation takes place, our guards play a vital safety role to safeguard our passengers and the infrastructure. With this new system, nothing has changed. The guard is responsible for making sure that the train is in the correct position before they make an appropriate door release. The ASDO system cannot detect station overruns or stop short incidents. Therefore, doors off the platform could open. If an overrun or stop short incident was to occur, the doors must not be released. The guard Hello, and the driver the guard. must reach a clear uh, understanding about how the incident should be dealt platform. with. Hello, the driver sir, must contact the signaller and carry out the instruction as per the rule book. And signal authority to move forward. Over. For a stop short incident, communicate with the driver. So you will draw forward to the correct stop mark and I will then release the doors once I've checked the train is fully accommodated. Understood driver, guard out. And arrange for the train to be moved forward into the platform to allow correct door release to take place. For a station overrun on short platforms, passengers must use a suitable local door. If there are no suitable local doors on the platform, the train must continue to the next station. In either situation, it is important to keep passengers informed. In opening the doors because the train is not correctly accommodated. In the event of a train not being able to read the data from the beacon, there is a built in safety system called default condition. Default condition is the shortest platform length served by our class 444 or 450. The front three coaches on a 444 and front four on a 450. If the train is in default condition, an automated announcement will play. There is a fault with the door system. This is being attended to. Please do not operate any emergency equipment. And the external hazard lights will not be illuminated. Depending on the type of unit you are working, you should, on a single or multiple unit on a short platform, request passengers to join or alight through the front three or four coaches. Passengers wishing to leave the train at this station will need to do so through carriages one to four on this train. To allow wheelchair users to join or alight, it is possible to open a local door, providing that it is on the platform. On multiple units on platforms able to accommodate the whole train, the guard must contact the driver to request a temporary override of the ASDO system. The temporary override switch can only be operated by the driver. Once operated, all doors can be released. The system will only reset itself once the train has moved 400 meters or achieved 20 miles per hour. If a beacon fault has presented itself, Wessex Integrated Control Centre, or 
WICC Released. should be contacted well, as soon as possible. WICC right. will inform well, other guards with a BlackBerry message detailing out, the beacon fault at the station. The a train will catch. not run fast Over. or miss stations because of a beacon fault. ASDO will work correctly at all other stations. If there is a train fault with ASDO, WICC will decide if the train is to run fast or to be taken out of service. WICC will instruct a train to run fast or not to call at certain stations if a driver is instructed to isolate the ASDO system. There are some differences between the ASDO systems on the DeZero fleet and the class 4585. The TMS on the DeZero fleet is much more modern, so as the leading bogey passes over the beacon, information is sent to the onboard TMS, which calculates how many doors can be released. The 4585 has a reader on each carriage. Only carriages that have passed over the beacon will release its doors.